You can see she's pretty much totally woken up now. It'll just be a matter of time before she flies into the camera. <laughs> So today we're going to be tagging some bees um, and the reason for that is is because I would like to investigate how their experience of their environment affects the bees yet to be born. So we're going to tag the workers so we won't get confused because it's quite hard to tell them apart. Okay so we need to put the red light on first um, and the reason for that is as we said in the last video we don't want them flying anywhere. This is a little bee scoop, they crawl inside and then I close it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put them into the fridge for about three minutes and that's just like a cold day for them. So we're literally just slowing them down like they would be in the wild. If I get, oh, if I get that one there to crawl in and then just close it. And you can see it there. <laughs> Looks like it could have escaped there. Some of the smaller ones can get out of the gaps. So that's three minutes. The numbers are literally just a name for the bees. I mean, I could give them all names, but uh, it'd be quite hard to keep a track of them all. <laughs> so this bee is going to be yellow number 10. Honeybees have barbs on their sting, which means when they sting you, the sting sticks into your hand or wherever and then it pulls out some of their organs and that's why they then die. Um, so I guess they're taking one for the team. But with bumblebees they have a smoother sting so they can sting and sting again, um, which is useful for them but not so much for me if they actually ever manage to get out and attack. <laughs> so here we have a chilled out bee. <laughs> So it's just like it's woken up on a cold spring morning. So I'll just dab a tiny little bit of super glue to the top of the head. I have to be careful not to get any on the wings and not to get any on the legs or antenna. Now this is the fiddly bit. <laughs> I just sit it on top of the dab of glue. Like, oh, if it would actually come off my tweezers. <laughs> there we go. That is number 10. Number 10 starting to wake up. You can see her moving her legs, moving her mandibles, moving her antenna. All that is part of her trying to warm up. Maybe if I introduce her to one of her sisters. There we go. What she'll actually do to wake up is actually flap her wings because by flapping her wings she'll be increasing the temperature of her body. So because this is a bee from a different colony we're going to use a different colour so we can distinguish them much more easily. Oh, it's flipping over. So this bee is green number one. No, not, not that way. That's actually a really, really light tag on it compared to the amount of pollen and nectar they can actually carry. It's very, very, very little. We've tagged about maybe 15 bees so far, and then I've got about 15 more to do in there and then about the same in there. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day.